Okay, so here's a third video. We're going to practice doing calculations and then looking at the answer that your calculator shows and figuring out how to re report that with the correct number of sig figs. Now remember, addition and subtraction has different rules than multiplication and division. When you add and subtract, you have to consider only the digits to the right of the decimal. Only the digits to the right of the decimal in each measurement. And then make sure that your answer has the same number of digits to the right of the decimal as your weakest measurement. Not total number of sig figs. You don't even have to know anything about sigs for this. You just have to count how many digits are on the right of the decimal, and then make sure your answer matches that. So if we do this problem, 5.065 plus 2.1, there's three digits to the right of the decimal. Doesn't matter what it is, if it's a zero, a nine, a five, or whatever. Over here, there's only one. This is what the calculator shows. This is mathematically correct. However, it's not expressed with the right number of uncertainty because we have a weak measurement here. We need to express that in our answer. So we only have one number to the right of the decimal here. We're going to keep one number to the right of the decimal. The catch is, that's a one. This is going to get dropped off. Before you drop this off, see if that six affects that one. And it does. Six is higher than a five, so it goes 7.2 for our final answer. One digit to the right of the decimal. Next one. We subtract one number to the right of the decimal, no numbers to the right of the decimal. So mathematically, we're okay here. When we do the subtraction out um, and then want to express it with the right number of significant figures, we have to take a look at the weakest measurement and then we're just going to drop that off. Before we drop it off, we're going to check to see what it does to the four. So it's two, two, four, or what it does to the three rather, it makes it a four. So our answer is going to have no numbers to the right of the decimal. Over here, are three numbers to the right, two numbers to the right. Our answer can have two numbers to the right, and guess what? That's exactly what it came out to. So you're all set. You don't have to change anything. Multiplication division. This is a different set of rules. Here you need to understand how to count sig figs, and you have to worry about all the sig figs in each number, and then you're going to pick the least total number of sig figs. Total number of sig figs. And then make sure your answer has the same number of sig figs as that weakest measurement. So we're not dealing with to the right of the decimal anymore. Now we have to count sig figs. So we've got one, two, three, four, five sig figs here. Come in from the Pacific side, they all count. Over here, same thing, Pacific side. One, two, three, four, they all count. Four is less than five, so our answer, even though this is mathematically correct, has too much or too many significant figures. We can't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of information that when we only measured uh, a max of four over here. So we have to keep the four highest places. One, two, three, four. So we're going to write 21,700, and then this is the last official number we're going to keep. The rest are going to become zeros. Now that one, before I write it down, I just want to see when I change this nine to a zero before I do that, does that nine affect the one? And yes, it does. So now I'm going to write down a two, and then that nine is going to become a zero. This is correct. This has one, two, three, four sig figs, which match the four up here. If I was to do this, two, one, comma, seven, two, zero, oh, and add in a point zero, zero, make everything zeros, then I would be wrong, because this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sig figs, and I don't want that. I only need four. So I'm going to not put the zero or those extra, or the decimal, or those extra zeros and this will be my final answer that I record on paper, and that matches the amount of uh, significant figures that I have up here in my weakest measurement. All right, lots of sig figs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven sig figs there. Over here, one, two, three, four. Four is less, so even though my calculator shows this absurd number, I am not going to write it all down, and I'm also not going to wonder where do I round. I'm going to round using the right uh, measure or the right rules. In this case, I'm worried about matching the least number of total sig figs, so I'm going to keep those four highest places, because I need four. So I'm going to write 5,000, zero in the hundred spot, three in the thirties, and then before I turn the rest of these to zeros or lop them off, basically, I'm going to see, does that nine affect my five? And yes, it does, rounds it up to a six. So there you go, four sig figs. Now we've got four sig figs here and only one there. So my answer can only have one. So I'm going to keep my big, biggest or highest spot. Two ways you could answer this. You could turn that into scientific notation. Move your decimal point over 
two places. So you write 6 times 10 to the 1, 2 to the second. That's got one sig fig. Or I could just say I'm going to keep my biggest place, that's 6, that's in the 600 spot. So I'm going to put that there, and then I have to show it's not just 6, it's 600. So I'm going to put a 0 and a 0 to hold the place. So that's one sig fig, and so is this, because I come in from the Atlantic Ocean side, and just that 6 counts. Now these guys are all mixed up. For some reason, kids have a hard time when they are all mixed up like this. The first thing you need to do is look at what's being done. What operation is taking place here? Is it addition, subtraction, or is it multiplication or division? And then decide for yourself which set of rules. Numbers to the right of the decimal, or are you looking at all the sig figs and coming up with a grand total? All right, so the first one, addition, subtraction. This is addition, so we're going to worry about the numbers to the right of the decimal. Here's one. Here's two, answer's going to have just one. This is what the calculator shows. There are no numbers to the right of the decimal, but you need to match the amount of uncertainty, or in this case, uh, certainty that there is, so you're going to add a zero. Now we match what you should have. Multiplication. This is the total, all the sig figs. So this one's got two sig figs. Remember, whenever you're looking at sig figs, you ignore this. This doesn't play a role in counting sig figs. It does play a role in calculations. So if you were to do this, you would put in 2.4 EE12 times 3.900 EE5, and then uh, get your answer. So anyways, we've got two here and we've got four here. Answer has to have the least, so it can only have two. So you're going to keep the two biggest spots, the nine and the three. Before you drop that off, just see if it affects the 3, and in this case it does. So it's going to be 9.4 times 10 to the 17th. All right, we've got addition here. So I'm worried about to the right of the decimal. 2 there, 3 there. My answer is only going to have 2 to the right of the decimal. So this is what my calculator shows. Let's just make sure we round that. So it's 232.64. Two numbers to the right of the decimal. Division, so I'm worried about all the sig figs. Well, this one has four total sig figs. This only has one sig fig. So I'm going to look at my ridiculous answer. By the way, this whole repeating stuff, this is what they taught you when you were a little kid to make you realize that some numbers don't, don't end. They just go on forever, and you're never going to end with a final number. We don't use that anymore. Higher level math science classes don't use that. They actually look at the numbers involved in the calculation, and they say, how many sig figs are there? That's what my answer has to have. So I never, ever, ever want to see this bar. What I want you to do is look at your problem. Say, in this case, I need one sig fig. You're going to keep your highest place 1 times 10 to the second. You can move that decimal point over two places. Or you could say 1, 0, 0. Okay? You're just keeping the 100 spot. And that 1 doesn't affect the other one, so it just drops off and turns to a 0. Okay? And that's it. Good luck.